watching Get Lifted TV, The Debate Show. Today's topic is all going to be about whether social media and the age of Instagram and Snapchat has affected our body image. Uh, alongside the regular beautiful debate show panel of Jen Wakefield and Nathan Devonte, we've also are joined by our amazing guest uh, panelists. If you'd like to introduce yourselves, I'm Danny. I'm a personal trainer and CrossFit coach here, CrossFit Evolving. Um, I'm Louise Golby. I'm an artist, a singer-songwriter, and I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Dagmar McAleon. I'm a personal trainer for Virgin Active, and I'm a violinist. And I'm Mariam Collian. And I mean. We can't deny how much social media has taken over our lives, whether we want it to or not. And what's crazy nowadays is you can you get viral stars like normal people becoming worldwide phenomena, and which is a great thing, but it also can have a detrimental effect on teenagers who are already feeling quite low. Like I mean, nowadays if you see thirteen year olds on Instagram, it's unbelievable. Not just, you know, makeup and contouring and stuff like that, but the filters that Instagram has put on I mean, what do you mm. guys think about that? They look, wow, they do not look 13. <laughs> I get Man, I'm really yeah. glad that I didn't have that when I was 13. Mm. Yeah, because I agree. Because it makes, yeah, like you said, being a teenager, even more pressure on how you look yeah. when, you know, everyone's, yeah, looks immaculate on Instagram, whereas in real life, obviously, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. not real, like those filters and stuff. And what's kind of even more dangerous that some of those filters, people have talked about, about them, even being like, for example, making people look more white, making people look you more can't make skinny. me look any more white. <laughs> <laughs> At all. There's one problem. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's people looking more, more white, which is horrible, um, and more skinny, uh, more, you know, there's this one app that my flatmate had, which would make your eyes bigger, make your, you know, chins more sunk, uh, chin, cheeks more sunken in. That's crazy. It's not real. And that's what's scary. But you don't know that if you're just looking mm. at someone. Mm. I think what I've noticed is that since we've had the ability to make our, become celebrities ourselves, it's, it's in your hands how you manage yourself. Mm. And so it's like a cur it's like a stock market. So you or like, you know, you see you see what what's valuable and what's not. So you'll see the like and then you can examine and say, think, well, this picture got more likes and she had her belly out in that one. And this picture got quite a lot of likes and he, he was doing this and that one. So if I'm a bit more like that, then maybe I can do that. Mm -hmm. And then the problem is, is that, you know, companies who try and make these people big, for example, if that's what people are aiming for or whatever, you know, are interested. You know, people use social media as a way of seeing how successful you are. They do. People mm. do it. And um and, there, and so therefore, this it's streamlining into, okay, this person's got this many followers, this many likes, they must be this good. And when you look deep, delve deep down, they're doing it all through the means of how they look, basically, based on appearance. And if people are going to find ways of enhancing themselves or look, you know, changing their body to get more likes and get more appeal, then people are going to do that, I think. And not that it's right, but that's what I see as ha has happened. Mm. Do, do you guys, I mean, there's probably loads of, mirrors and gyms and stuff too many guys see don't a lot have any of here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite nice though it's like, like you just come here and you do your thing really but i mean do you see loads of people taking like taking pictures of themselves yeah oh yeah, yeah. Whilst, you know they wait until the end of all the classes and they sit down yeah. on their knees and they're like you take a look take a selfie, <laughs> yeah and then tag themselves in even though they've probably barely done anything in the class yeah but it's well, they they've, sweaty, they've the attended mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like immaculate yeah, how does that no, I've, I've had that loads. I've had like fitness bloggers and stuff like that come to classes and like straight after they're just like, can we take a selfie and stuff like that? Can you take a photo of us? And it's just like it picking up a heavier weight than they yeah. <laughs> actually use in the class. But, oh my uh, god! Yeah. That's so interesting. Weird. Nathan, have you got anything to say about this topic? I just remember um, last year my little cousin um, came up to me. She's like, oh, I really want to get an Instagram account, but my mum won't let me. I was like, oh, why do you want an Instagram account Like when you're not even 10 years old? And she's like, because I'm cute and I can get rich from, from oh. taking my pictures on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and, I just, and, I just, and I just remember, like, I didn't have those oh pressures God. as a as a young child, you know. No, and, thank um, God. I just feel that even because you mentioned snapchat filters and stuff i feel like this it's a like that's what we have today but this has been going on for many years i just mm. feel like now there's more technology and we have more access to more things but um we still have the choice to use snapchat and instagram and like i don't really watch tv i'm not so i do watch tv shows but i don't watch tv so i don't see the adverts in between the shows mm. and i feel like 
it's just up to us to really decide what do we want to let uh, cons- let consume us you know? yeah but you can't stop it like you know any form of social media you go on you don't have to be, be on social media okay you don't have to be but you 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 know you're watching tv you're seeing adverts out on the street you see it's it's really hard not to get affected i think even mm. subconscious but like subconscious instagram things. we choose who we follow sure mm. Mm. but it's the age I, f- I feel like nowadays the age of vanity like people take pictures and selfies of every little thing they're doing even if it's not important mm. and if you've got people um enhancing their ways on on instagram just to t- take a picture or taking pictures of them going to the gym and stuff and it's just kind of like you can't you can't stop it and it makes you feel a bit but for me Bad if i see yourself. a picture of somebody in the gym i try to use it as motivation not kind of as a, a negative for me it's like oh i haven't been to the gym as much as i kind of the goal that i set for myself so this is a reminder rather than i feel pressure you know? but as people of like you know we managed to miss out on the complete social media age thank god <laughs> but do you guys still feel pressure from instagram and and stuff like that the beautiful filters or Oh, there's there's no filter that'll fix this. But, <laughs> but I, there is. I in, in in terms in terms of business, yeah. that's that's the only reason I use I use Instagram. Mm. Uh, so especially in our industry because it's like I don't know, it's quite a visual thing. Yes. Yeah. Do. So posting things like videos and photos. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you have yeah. to do it. I've learned more about fitness and how to get you know achieve stuff through Instagram. I suppose YouTube primarily and then Instagram mm-hmm. secondly. Yeah. You yeah. know. Um, and even things like when I think about Joe Wicks and his like you know meals I mean that was all through Instagram wasn't yeah. it mm-hmm. you know the wonder of the minute bit of footage and what that has done for fitness but yeah I, I guess um, like mu- in the music world as well um, mm. I certainly found found like because I try I sort of have been dabbling with that that world music and then through radio and then like comedy and obviously comedy is so different it, you know the 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 need to make, look beautiful in a picture is so not necessary. Yeah. It's almost the opposite. It's almost yeah. the opposite. Yeah. Whereas, whereas the radio, even people on radio, you know, even to be on radio, you have to look like a model these days. And it's like, you're not even really being See, seen yeah. that much. But pe- models yeah. and people like that are getting the presenting gigs because it's so visual still. Mm. Same with DJs. You yeah. get right. hot female yeah, DJs get do. loads of gigs. And mm. the lengths people go to to take a great social media picture is ridiculous. Like, mm. did you guys see that Russian model dangling from the skyscraper? Just to take a picture that went viral, and it's like, oh, yeah. why? Do you not have better things to do with your life? Anyway, sorry. I was going to say, talking about pressure, and um, I have it in my industry, and I know these guys do, mm. is because supposedly music industry people if they want to know how many followers you've got on Instagram yeah. and how many Twitter followers or whatever. Mm. But what I find odd is it doesn't mean that all those people that follow me are buying my music. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And We've you can buy followers. That. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, oh, and they yeah. know that. So oh, I don't really understand. Buying it's, friends. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it is frustrating that they think that's important. Like, mm. well, she's got loads of Instagram followers, so we'll mm. sign her. Mm-hmm. But it, it doesn't mean anything. I could be taking my top off in all my Instagram followers. It's just pictures. exposure. Mm. No, not that, not in that sense. Like, it is. <laughs> well, it's the same in the fitness industry exposure. is like as well. There's like people get classed a fitness expert because they have so many followers on on Instagram. Mm. But mm. I don't know the information they're probably relating is not any difference. What no. Like, who's working in just a standard gym, but just because they have a hype. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time it's worse. There was a programme that we watched, um, which was about how social media has kind of affected people's diets as well, because you'll have teenagers, well, any well, age group, watching, yeah, well. and thinking, yeah. well, that person's really thin, and she's telling me to cut out this, so yeah. I'm going to do that. pictures of all their, like, chia seeds and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... Let us know what you guys think in the comments. I'm sure, you know, you can't avoid social media even if you tried. And um, let us know if you've been affected um, by, you know, the pressures of people and all the filters and everything on Instagram and Snapchat and what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, poke, tweet, whatever it is. Um, But (laughs) let us know. Get Lifted TV. Thank you so much for watching.